All right, once again, I'll make another video. Another spontaneous video. Uh, let me show you real quick. I just wrote down things that I was just pick up a patient in 10 minutes. I'm trying to be as quick as I can. Moe's filmed me, of course, and he just showed me a video about Will Smith I didn't see before, about his next movie called Emancipation. And it shows, Will always shows black excellence. He never want to play a slave, and for obvious reasons, because it's degraded. But um, this movie is showing how the true story of overcoming adversity. So anyway, we try to go as quick as possible, no rhyme or reason. I'm making it spontaneous. So, uh, whatever. I like it, that's all that matters. Basically, that's the saying. I'm reading off the sheet. Uh, my opinions could be kind of strong at times, and there's a lot of people who might not like it, and my people do, uh, who do like it. But the thing that matters the most is I like it. That's one thought I want to go on camera. Second thing, uh, I said my life is in streams. I'm not going to every stream in my life. I had a lot of streams. I might not look at it the moment that I have. But I'm just trying to tell it in an RC way. Uh, this weekend I saw the movie, I saw it years ago, but uh, Twilight Zone, uh, the updated version with Vic Morrow. He got killed in the movie in real life. And um, the scene that tripped me out was that this real racist guy, he talked about how he hated the, uh, the Jews, the blacks, and uh, the Viennese. And anyway, the Twilight Zone had it. He went, he opened the door, he became, um, he was actually a Jew. He, didn't, he looked the same person, but it, it saw him as a Jew. And then Nazis came, and then uh, they chased him, and he fell, and then the Klan caught him, and then he was somewhere else, and then people were shooting at him, he said Vietnam. So another story, the point of that was saying that you look at both sides, not just like, oh, one person you hate another group because they're different than you. You know, you look at why both sides of every story. Anyway, I mean, off the sheet. Uh, Kanye West. My last video, I say Kanye's music sucks. It's not so much that his music sucks, it's so much I think it's overrated. He has the most Grammys of any rapper ever, and there's no way he's a better rapper than Lauryn Hill, Will Smith, Chuck D, Public Enemy. I mean, uh, Karis Wan, Slick Rick, Tribal Quest groups I like for my era. But anyway, the thing that I really like about the rap of my era, and I'm speaking for my era, is that it's more personality music. It's not negative images. So anyway, let me see another quick thing. Uh, There's no rhyme or reason. There's stuff I wrote down. We had free time. We can pick somebody up in 10 minutes. That's why I'm talking fast. I wrote down, oh yeah, when I was like 13, um, your family's supposed to be your backbone of everything that you have. And you know that first saying, well, but that's, you know, my family is not ghetto. They were cool in certain ways. But I remember one time, though, I went out, I tried to cut my hair, and I was like 13, and I cut it too far back like this. And it was like Reverend Moon or this current guy named Steve A. Smith, who's this far back. And they were laughing at me, my whole family. And I felt really embarrassed by that. Your family, even though you made a mistake, you ain't supposed to. Anyway, it's just funny to me. Uh, oh, yeah. Two things I said when I was young. I'm just, I wrote this last night, uh, and I tried to update it today and saw Skip of Scrabble. But anyway, I just say, because I never really listened clearly, because I'm so busy with my own thoughts, but this expression, uh, I make people laugh when I tell this story. I should say, it's just a common term that street say, like, my bad, my bad. I remember when I was like, I hope was I, like 14, 15, and I thought, because I didn't listen clearly, I thought they say, my bag, my bag. I remember playing sports with my grandma lived in a nice area, Pillows Park, and I was you not know, real kind, I was kind of nervy. I was playing, playing play basketball with other guys trying to fit in, like a people pleaser. I've always been like that my whole life, and I really regret that. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to change that. But uh, so every time something happened, I would go down the court like uh, make miss a shot, something say, my bag, my bag. So I just remember the guy came looking at me, he's like, yo, he turned around one time and said, listen, it's my bad. So I was one that after the shot, like, my bad. And he just looked at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, the other thing I did was really silly was uh, my grandfather, he passed away. And my mom said, oh, he's just light skinned. He, he was white. He lived in the suburbs in the 1960s. The only thing black out there was on the lantern. <laughs> on the lawn. But uh, that's old Jim Crow stuff. But uh, I remember he ran a movie theater. He ran movies at the movie theater. I thought it was really cool. He was a postman, a school teacher. He lived in the suburbs. That's pretty good back in the day for the 1960s, considering that you have a black background. But anyway, so we, and he was a teacher at the school for reform school called Cato. And I was trying to be cool because I was so nerdy that I was hanging with one of the kids when we was hanging out. After my grandfather, uh, this, my grandfather, he already went back. So I started hanging out with him. Uh, just walking down the street in North Philly. We saw him to these girls, right? And they got a street in North Philly called Wyoming. And this is, I'm making fun of myself because you can't really talk to other people to make fun of your own self. 
So I remember I was trying to be cool. You got pictures. I'm 58 now. I was 15 then. This guy was like form school type, and I was trying to be cool, up nerdy. And we saw these two black girls at all, oh, and the street's called Wyoming. So she was going, uh, he was talking to one girl, I saw the other girl. And I was trying to be cool, like, yo, baby, what's your name? Blah, 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 blah. And she goes, well, I said, where do you live? She said, uh, Wyoming. And I thought it was a slang. I thought she was saying, why you owe me? And I said, oh, come on, baby, tell me your name. Tell me where you live. She said, I live on Wyoming. I said, oh, it's like that. And she looked at my friend like, what the hell's wrong with him? <laughs> anyway, this is crazy.